Hello everyone. As I promised, I was gonna do a crab series and I'm gonna start my angling videos. Um, so today, I wanna talk to you guys about different ways to capture crab and different devices. Um, the most popular and most easiest method is to have a piece of string tied to a bait or a piece of stick tied to a bait and you can catch crab or freshwater lobsters in in the in the shallows where there's a whole bunch of boulders or stuff like that you could actually see them in tidal pools um, but today we're going to talk about a little bit more sophisticated gear um, so let me start off with the most basic uh, I'm not sure if they sell these around your guys' store but um, or low or area but these are little crab snares um, what you do I mean you could always build one it's pretty easy just have a cage where you could put your bait in and have like these little plastic snares um, try not to use metal snares they, they probably won't slide as easy but um but yeah these are like the most basic crab cage um, what ha what what you do is see there's the fishing line and here's my little swivel that I have. Uh, I like to use swivels. Don't I don't really like tying string directly onto this um, end of the snare, if you can see that. And the reason is, I don't want this line to be cut and then lose your whole system. So it's just use the swivel. It'll save you a lot of headache. So you put your swivel on there. You tie this this end to your fishing line. And basically you're casting. You just cast normally. Like if you're just casting a, a bait casting reel um, or whatever. If you're casting a lure. Just cast it into the ocean or anywhere there's crab or freshwater lobsters. Or even saltwater lobsters. It doesn't matter. So the way this works is it's a little cage. See that? You open it. This one has a little, um, what's it called? A little rubber to hold on to like lock the cage in place. You see that? Um, the other one that I wanted to show you, um, it has blue snares. This one has uh, clear snares or white snares. Um, the way this one, other one works is it has little self-containment I kind of like this mo this design better but this one fits more bait so but this one you see that you just the little the little safety mechanism just pull it up and you can stuff your bait in there um, usually I found that what works best is uh, chicken skin um, the crabs won't take it as easy um, I think that's the best thing to use. Um, you could always use anything. Just stuff your bait in there. You close your, your crab cage. You see that? Close a close a crab the uh, close a crab cage, and your bait should be in there, locked and secure. On this one, once you put your bait in there, you get your little uh, it's like a little hook thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure people could build their own, but there's just this little hook. And it just goes right on there, and it'll lock your cage in there. It'll lock your bait inside the cage. Uh, the way this works is once you throw it out like a normal, like the like a normal line in a fishing pool, um, the crabs will start nibbling on the cage, and then eventually, once you're ready and you think you got something on there, or something's um, attacking the bait. Most likely, you will not feel the crab pulling, um, so you just let it wait for a while. And eventually, once a crab's actually on there, the legs will get stuck on the little on the little um, snares. And once you pull, you actually capture your the crab by its leg, and that's how this works. You see that? Very basic, very simple. Um, let me get the the swivel out of this one. And let me show, let me demonstrate on this one right here. So there's one end that that's not a snare. Put your little swivel that's attached to your fishing pole. 
you cast out there in the ocean, in the freshwater lake or whatever, and something's gonna start biting on this or nibbling on it. And then once you think, well, at least when some time passes by, just uh, what you wanna do is pull fast um, on your fishing pole. You pull fast, that way the legs don't have anywhere to get away. It's not as efficient. Sometimes the, the, you pull up the crab on top of the pier and the leg might slip off, okay? So, but it does work and it's very efficient. If you just have, like, if you just want to add this to your little gear on your little pack or something, this works just fine. Here's the other one. So these work, uh, but they're not as efficient. You, you will lose crab or lobsters on there. I just wanted to make sure how much time I have. But yeah, that's pretty much it with these. And now, let me move on to the next set, which is the O-ring, the O-ring um, crab net. So the way this works is you're hanging it on a pier. I don't see this really working on level ground as much as on the pier. So what you do is right in here, you could uh, put your, you could stuff your bait in there. There's an old hook on there. Um, but either way, you just untie this, and you put your bait in through the side. You see, it even has like a little, it's kind of like a little flying saucer, and you put your bait right in the middle. I don't want to untie it, but you just untie this, and. All you do is uh, stuff your bait in there, tie it back up, and then once your bait's in here, um, you drop it over the pier, and it'll land straight down. Eventually crabs will start going on here, and they'll start nibbling. The downside is crabs can just walk out of this crab cage um, prior to actually pulling it up. So once you actually have, once you think it's filled with crab, you pull it up, and hopefully the crab will stay in there. Sometimes crabs will climb out of this if they're smart enough or quick enough. Um, they will climb out. The benefit of using this is it'll capture more crabs than using this. Um, but this has its advantage that you could use it right from the shore. Um, I find that the best advantage to this is actually when you catch a big fish and you want to reel it in and you're on the pier, this crab cage, um, could, you could lift it close to the surface of the water. Once the fish or whatever passes right on top, you could just pull it up and your fish will be caught right down here and you just, you just reel them back up, okay? And you get them out of the, out of the water that way if you're fishing off the pier. Uh, so this works. I love this just because it has that fish option. You can catch a fish. I caught a shark and stingrays on this before. So it does work. Uh, crabs, it, it's, it's efficient. It'll catch you a decent amount of crabs. Um, there's nothing wrong with this design except that crabs can get out. Um, but one of the major pluses is that if you're fishing off the pier, you can just uh, scoop your fish out of the water. Um, so that's why I like this this crab net. It comes with the blue rope. Uh, remember, just tie your fish, your bait down in there, and and you're pretty much set. Um, it has a whole bunch of old string on there. That's why I can't really demonstrate. I should have taken it off. But you see that little opening? You stuff your bait in there. The, the opening is actually pretty wide. It just has a lot of fish string on there from last time. But that's the benefit of using this this type of crab net. Um, it works and everything, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's pretty fun to use. Only downside is you might lose some crab, okay? So that's the only downside, but on the flip side, you get to catch a big fish on here if you can't pull it up from the pier because your fish line might just break while you're pulling that big fish out of the water. So this is, that's what this is really good for, I think. The next crab cage is more sophisticated, way more sophisticated. This is actually my preferred method of catching crab. Um, one of the benefits is it, it could um, stand on its own. You see that? It stands on its own. Um, 
there's nothing really much to it. But what I love about this is that it's easy to set up. You see that? It comes with a little hook. And you open this. See that? You open it. Let me show you sideways so you guys can really see it. You see, you open it. And this is your access point to catch to catch your crab once you get it out. But to set it up, it's really simple. It comes with the rope. Um, to catch, it's really simple. Even it comes with an interior hook if you want to hang some some bait on there. I'm not sure if you could see that. It comes with an interior hook if you want to hang bait. But one of the flip sides, it comes with this little box. You see that? And what you do is you open the little box. I just don't want to break it. Uh -oh. So you open the little box, you stuff your bait in there, close it so your crabs cannot steal it, but it will attract the crabs. Um, the crabs, oh, I found in salt water, um, most aquatic species are really have a really good, great sense of smell. But anyways, you stuff your your little cage, or you could even tie um, bait in there. And what you do is you just throw it in there. You pull the little string on top, you pull it, and then you see the little hook? It goes right over it. And now it's secured and ready to be tossed in the water. The benefit of this is that, you see this? This is where the crab will enter. It will get in, but it cannot come out. There's no way for it to come out. Uh, maybe a smart crab, maybe once in a thousand. It'll find that it'll find its way back, but really, there's no way the crab's really gonna get out of this cage. Um, this is also really good for freshwater um, crabs or lobsters, crabs or lobsters. Um, like if you like crayfish or crawdads, I call them freshwater lobsters. Just call it what it is. And you could fit quite a large amount of crab in here um, if you have big crab. Like from the pier, where, where they're like they're like the whole crab's actually this big, you might only be able to fit like three crabs, maybe five max. Um, so this is probably the most efficient way to actually start crabbing. Um, I recommend this for like even the shore because there's absolutely absolutely no way that the crab or any crayfish, freshwater lobsters are gonna get out. Whatever goes in, it's not coming out. Um, access point, it has three access points. So the crab could easily get through. The only way it could not go in through is this little patch, this little patch, and this last patch. But anywhere else where the yellow is, it's just going to slide in and it's not going to come out. So this is my preferred uh, crab cage. Um, the only downside I found in rough in rough climate or in rough currents, uh, your crabs might get damaged in here. Uh, I found that once in the pier. Uh, it was really, really bad and it was stormy. And some of the crabs got injured. Um, that was the only downside I could find to this design. But really, this is the design you want to be using. Uh, just when the water is really, really bad. Um, this design might hurt your crabs a little bit. They might lose a leg or something. Um, what I would actually do with this cage, if you have like a truck or something, uh, just make it bigger. It's really compact. That way I can just attach it to my pack. It'll be the last thing hanging on there because I got an exterior frame and it'll hang on there really nicely. But those are pretty much it, guys. These are the different types of crabs. Uh, crab cages you could use like I said storing these are really easy I'll probably show you how I store them but that's pretty much it guys There's nothing to it once you get your crab out of the water or the cage out of the water just pull this open take your crab out if you don't want to touch crab just dump them out but that's easily that's the best thing to do I also found in rough water um, you might need to tie your bait on there. Um, that little box might not be efficient enough. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me show you guys possibly how I store them.
So stay tuned. All right, so this is how I store my um, crab cages. Just hang them on the wall. I put this one on top, that in the bottom. My little crab cage snares for flight for the pool. They go in there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.